Hello and welcome to episode 19 of Playing for Set Pieces, and we are with Lilstrom, we are in the Elite Syrian, and we're in 10th after two games. There's only been two games, and, uh, well, we've drawn them both. One once against the Valeringa, who were up in 5th, and 1-1 one -one against Bran. Not great, but before that we did have a cracking result against Rosenborg. Now, bearing in mind Rosenborg were the winners of the league last season... Um, and obviously we won the Mesterskopper. Um, is that right, Mesterskopper? Anyway, we won the cup, so we faced off in their equivalent. It's the Mester final, um, or Mester finale, which is the equivalent of their charity shield. And uh, despite not necessarily being the strongest team during the game, it did come out 3-3. I mean, Sol back and scored on 35 minutes. Emerson scored, equalised on 41. Sol back and got another one. Uh, sorry. Easy got one on 61 minutes. Herman Gielsmuiden got one at 63 minutes. Sold back and scored one at 66 minutes. And then said Herman got one at 95 minutes. So it went to penalties. And oh my God, were there a lot of penalties. It doesn't... There you go, look, it tells you. 18 penalties to 17. Um, and I'm going to get into the transfers in a minute. I just wanted to show you where, where we were in the league. But uh, we have a new goalkeeper and he had a good game at 7.0. But I tell you what, he can't save a penalty. He really can't save a penalty. He's, we've had a couple during the uh, um, league games, but I mean, it, he had 18, 17 penalties taken against him, and it was only the guy missing, literally missing the last one, that meant we got okay, which is kind of disappointing. I would have liked to have seen him save more penalties than that, especially with that many. I mean, 18 to 17. I actually thought at one point it was a bug because it just kept going and going and going, but... Uh, that's our first silverware of the season anyway, so very happy with that. But like I say, in the league, we have not been fantastic. We're not scoring the goals that we would normally score. So back in the course, doing all right there. And then against Bran, um, easy being the man to score. But uh, yeah, we've not scored the super goals that we've been scoring before. Arga hasn't gotten off the uh, mark yet. He's doing all right. He's playing okay, but he's not. You know, looking as strong as he did, obviously, in the Obus Ligaean, which is a division below. But uh, anyway, today's game, we're against Odd. Odd, as you know, we beat in the uh, Cup Final, I believe, um, last season. So, be interesting to see how we get on against them away in the league. But uh, that is today's game. The uh, Norgish Mesterskopper first round doesn't start until April. Um, I'm, again... If it gets good, I'll come back for those. But at the moment, it's going to be one match a month. Um, at some point or another, we've also got Europe coming up. But, I mean, it's not even listed in under competitions at the moment. There's the Elite Serie and there's the Mester Final, which we won. And then there's the Norgish Mester Skopper, which, uh, again, we apparently expectation is reached a final as a minimum, especially as we won it last season. Um, but, yeah, there's no mention of our European competition in this list so not sure what's going to happen really i just know that we qualified for it by winning the cup so we will find out as it appears and uh hopefully in the next episode you will know too okay well let's have a look at the transfers as promised um we'll talk about the players out we have made no money but we have spent 2.1 million but in terms of people going out it's mostly people going out on a free who were Obviously not quite up to standard, youth players and such like. Michael Baidu has gone out on loan, and as is a BA. Um, again, because he wasn't getting in the first team, bless him. He did have, I think, either one or two appearances last season. Oh, no, he had nine. Oh, no, it was for Lilstrom too. He did well for Lilstrom too. He had two appearances in the Obus Ligaean. But uh, for the Norsk Tippin Ligaean, he's actually done really quite well. But uh, he's with Enugu Rangers now in Nigeria, so hopefully... He will have a good time with them. But, uh, yeah, other than that, there's not really been a lot of players to go. But in terms of who's come in, we will start with the free transfers. Brian Goose, Bram sorry, Goosens is the first one. He's a 16-year-old central defender. Again, he's brought in for development purposes because that's really what I've been trying to do. But he's Belgian. Um, he's only 16 years old. Um, and, obviously, he's going to be going out on loan. But he's already made international under-19s. So... I think he's got a future, bless him. Um, like I say, current ability, he's well off the senior, senior team. But in terms of his potential, 
he's got a good chance of being a strong centre back. Plus 6.3, already got a position in a 15, an aggression of 18. He's not going to be uh, afraid to get stuck in with the headers or indeed the tackles. Um, it's not as quick as I'd like, but at 16, he can definitely improve on that. So that's how we are going to be training him. Next on the list is Frank Bezoza, who came in from Skeed on a free. Um, again, he's been actually trained as a left winger as opposed to attacking midfielder because, of course, we don't play that role. But he is yet another development player. Again, his scout report showed him to have slightly better potential than that. But nevertheless, he's got a chance, as I say. He's there for development, so hopefully he'll do well. Then we've got Pius Marcinkevicius. Marcinkevicius. Or Vicius. Yeah, well, we'll call him Pius. He came in from Hod. He's Lithuanian. He's a central midfielder again. Um, add a bit of depth in that role, to be honest. We need another box to box to go behind Krogstad. Um, but yeah, again, he's got half decent potential. Um, and half decent physicals, so we'll see how he gets on. He's probably, well, he's at that age where he should start playing well, I guess, but uh, or have the potential to start playing well. Um, so we'll see how he gets on. Like I say, he can play in a couple of roles, but he is really there for central midfield. Then we've got Dut Gutorm Beckeland from Arga, who we signed on a free. He's a striker. Um, he's, in fact, an advanced forward. He is... Technically an understudy for Arga, but as you can see, pretty sure his potential ability looked better than that when we were scouting him. Um, but uh, he's still somewhere for the senior team. Fans aren't particularly happy with this guy, but uh, we'll see how he gets on. So he's, he's got good acceleration and uh, decent heading. He is over six, well, he's six foot exactly, so we'll see. We'll see how he does, but like I say, it's more about... Getting depth in really more than anything else. Then we've got Sivert Krogh, who we brought in on a free from Lynn. He is a winger. And uh, he's already... Actually, it's not showing it. I thought he'd already played outright for us. Um, oh, he's with... Oh, he's in Lilstrom too at the moment, is he? Fair enough. Um, but again, another player who can play in either wing. Um, we, are, we have really brought him in for the right wing rather than the left wing because... Left wing has already been covered. Um, but, oops. Yeah, like I say, not ready for first team action yet. But, again, decent potential. So, um, And he's Norwegian. So, we'll see how he gets on. Um, then we get into ones we paid money for. Next is Elias Tybring Yedda. Yedda. From Sarpsborg 08. Um, as you know, we had sort of right-back issues, and that's exactly where he's come in. He's only played a couple of times. Um, I think both are in the league, actually. In fact, it, he's... Oh, no, he's... Has he moved to Lilstrom too? Yeah, he's been moved down to Lilstrom too. But he has played a couple of games in the division for us. Um, 6.75. It's not great. But, like I say, it's, it's an area we're a bit short in. Um, after that is our goalkeeper, Sean McDermott. He is, in fact, Irish, but he has been pretty much playing in Norway with the exception of a year in Romania um, ever since his uh, career with Arsenal ended. So he's not done too badly. He's got experience in the elite Syrian, but like I say, if you actually look at his abilities, he's again, he's got good reflexes. He's got decent agility. Decent one-on-ones, decent rushing out, but a bit of a high punching tendency too. But can't save a penalty. Can't save a penalty to save his life. But he's managed, well, it says overall appearances, 15. I don't think that can be right. No, he's only played two and conceded two for us. So early days yet, but Sean McDermott is our new number one goalkeeper. He looks all right. He's not done bad, but like I say, can't save a penalty. And then last but not least, and this is the pricey one, Abu Sidibe, who we brought in from Bordeaux. He's French, but he's always oh, a right winger, not a left winger, idiot. Anyway, as you can see, he's got a lot of potential ability. I don't know how long we'll keep hold of him. He's only 17. Um, but he's made one start and one sub appearance and has got an average rate of 7.30. I mean, he hasn't scored or assisted, but as you can see, he's done all right. And he's already starting to improve. But yeah, he is going to be 
ultimately our next right winger. Um, because if we actually, whoops, if we take a look at the tactics, obviously we've got Fran Tudor in that role. He does have one or two injuries, plus he can play fairly decently at right back. Though, in he does much prefer being a right side midfielder. Um, but on the left, Odemark Spacken is the key man at the moment. Um, but we do now have somebody in behind him who's actually from our youth team. It's not Brendan. Um, there he is, actually. Sorry, it's Eric Saino. Saino. Saino? Are we going to see him? Oh, wait, no, dear. Duh. There we go. This is the way to see him. He has come through our youth development. Um, he was brought in from FC Inter, not by me, but by my predecessor or whomever was in charge, and has just been hanging around Lilstrom too and went out on loan back to Finland. Um, but yeah, he, he's he got a lot of potential, bless him. Um, a lot of potential. He's not far off being able to play in the first team, so... And he's a natural wide playmaker, just like Odemark's back and who we play as a wide playmaker. So, yeah, he's a very good understudy, a very good second choice, I would say. Um, but Odemark's back and is going to start today, I think. Anyway, that's where we're up to as far as the transfers are concerned. Um, it's not... Not a massive amount, but it's the sort of strength we needed. But like I say, since we've made the step up, Arga has yet to really do his thing. He's still improving skill-wise, obviously he's still developing, but he hasn't gotten off the mark yet this season. After three games? Yeah, no, two games. There you go. So we will see what happens. Hopefully he will pick things up. I haven't bothered to have a word with him yet because it's still early days, but... If it comes down to it, he and I will have a little bit of a chat. OK, it is time for Lilstrom away at odd. In goal is McDermott, a back four of Kyne Mickelson, Egan Rismark, Sinian and Tybring Yedda. Left wing Odemark's back and central midfield Krogstad and Easy. And right wing it's Tudor and up front it's Solback and Anaga. Well, again, Tybring Yedda, he's making a start. We'll see how he gets on at right back. Um, again, not quite at first team level, but it's either that or bring Tudor down and bring Brendan into right wing. So we'll start off like this and see how it goes. However, um, according to Sungot, my assistant manager, we should be encouraging the team. And apparently we're the underdogs for this one, so... Uh, yeah, let's go cause an upset. We should be able to do that. Um, who's motivated? Let's see if we can't... Motivate you a little bit more. It's helped a little bit. What about up front? There we go. Well, everybody listen keenly and a couple of you are motivated. So I suppose that's better than nothing, but it is kickoff time. Lilstrom in the yellow, odd in the white with the black shorts. And we will, as always, go full match for the first few minutes and see how things get on. Lilstrom kickoff. So... Come on, McDermott. Right, Mark's back in. On the ball. Egan Rismark. Club captain. Easy has been doing all right this season. I've uh, changed his position, well, his role to be defensive rather than just supporting because I didn't have technically a defender defending in my midfield setup. And uh, we're against slightly tougher op opponents in this season because um, obviously this is... Into the Premiership, it's not the uh, Obos Ligaean anymore, it is the Elite Syrian, so we need to be playing maybe a little bit more carefully, I guess. But anyway, it looks like Odd are having slightly the better time. Krogstad's on the ball. Odemark's back in. We're not really pushing forward here where I are unbalanced though I wonder if I should go positive and see if that makes a difference Kyle Mickelson oh with a ball four for Arga Arga has a go oh and does he keep oh it's a goal kick he must have knocked it out that's a shame I thought he was going to keep it in goal kick Enger to take it for odd another ball forward Krogstad now on the ball for Lilstrom puts it wide for Tudor Tudor on a run 
Got Arger in front of him, but he's tackled by Rashani. Throw in now. Hieda to Ez Easy. Oh dear. Easy tries to get it to Krogstad, but Krogstad. And he got a warning for his foul, but still. I don't think the positive has necessarily helped. Hagen with the free kick for Bran. I wonder if we should actually be pressing now rather than this here possession play. Because we don't appear to have created much up front. We're defending well, don't get me wrong, but uh, we're not really creating any chances here, not even going positive. I wonder if I should be getting Krogstad to move forward if I've got easy on defend. Because ED is dropping back here. Um, they're also... I can't decide if they, they are attacking wide. Let's... Let's defend wide. It's coming up to the five minute mark. Throw in for Lilstrom at the Lilstrom end. Oh, Gieda. Come on, mate. Get it past him. Good God. Well done, Krogstad. Yeah, Gieda, that was not the, the best of performances we've seen. You know what, I'm going under pressing because this doesn't look like we're getting anywhere, does it? And I'm going to demand more. Sinian. Find Sol Bakken. Sol Bakken trying to get past his man and gets tackled quite harshly there. I think that's a free kick, not a throw in. Kai Mickelson to take the free kick. Odemark's Bakken. Krogstad. Kai Mickelson on the wing. Forces a corner. It's a bit more like it. We're looking a bit more aggressive now. Krogstad to take it. Oh. Arger on the ball. Krogstad. Easy. Finds Tudor. Tudor forces a goal kick this time. Not a corner. Must have hit his foot again. Well, we seem to be doing a little bit better. I'm probably going to go into key highlights now. Oh my goodness. Well blocked by the Lilstrom defence there, but that wasn't ideal, was it? Let's kick. Oh, what's going on here? Free kick. Krogstad to take it. Into the middle and oh, who got it? Charles Easy. That's his third goal of the season. Odds nil, Lilstrom won. Assisted by Frederick Krogstad. That's our superb central midfield doing its thing. Um, Easy not getting forward as much, obviously, because uh, he's playing defensively, but... Nice result there in terms of his header. Free kick from Ard. Held by McDermott. He stops giving it to Ty Bring Hieda. Oh, Odemark's back in. Dispossessed by Kaiser. Hoff now for Ard. Puts a ball forward. He's got to be offside. And he's not. He's not offside. I'm pretty disgusted. It's Odd 1, Lilstrom 1. I really thought he was offside. It's a long ball from half. Hmm. I actually thought that was going wide too. Well, we need to do something about that, that's for certain. Well. I wonder if we should push up a bit. Because if it's too high, it's too high. If it's too low, it's too low. Let's get creative. Come on, boys. Nobody's playing badly. Nobody's playing badly. I just... Are they now attacking more narrowly? It's difficult to tell. Oh my Christ. Alexander Yallo. Jallo. Just gets his first, first goal of the season. I can't even speak. That's how upset I am. Odd two, Lilstrom one. It's a little bit... Don't really know who to blame there. But I got a feeling that I'm gonna pause this and I'm going to And he's not playing awful, is he? I do feel like it was his fault. Tudor's anxious. Egan Rismark is anxious. You know what? Let's just carry on as we are. Yeah, back to possession play. 
back to balanced. Let's show some passion. There we go. Fran Tudor on a run now for Lilstrom. And we don't know what will come of it. We've had five shots, four on target, but we're not getting them in the net, which is obviously what counts. Easy on the ball. Egan Rismark tries to put it out wide. Tran Tudor picks up the clearance, and he's got past his man. Cross on to Solbaggen, and it's 2-2. Ola Solbaggen with his fourth goal of the season. Assisted by Fran Tudor. Let's see if we can't make it a win this time. No, we've only, we've only managed two draws. It's not a loss. We haven't lost a game all season. But uh, nice work from Sol back in there. I, I feel like, again, we're going to lose him this season. Though uh, we managed to tie up his contract. So uh, it won't be during the first transfer window. Let's demand... Oops, I just praised them. I meant to demand more, but... We'll just, oh, dear. They didn't like that, did they? Come on, Lilstrom. It's not even half time. Hoff on the ball. Finds Rashani. Oh dear. Wow. All right. I'm making these changes now. You're coming off for Brendan. Ooh, no, you're coming off for Sidibe. Sidibe is going to come and play for Tudor, and Tudor is going to go back to right back because. I feel like they're concentrating down that side and uh, Gieda's attempts to defend haven't been fantastic. Let's see. Rashani just went past him, delivered that cross. It should never have happened. The cross should never have made it. Shouldn't have ever happened. 3 2 to Ard. Come on, Lilstrom. It's half time. This is not like it was in the Obos Ligaean. We're, cons we're just. Conceding goals like you wouldn't believe. And I wouldn't mind. People are playing all right. Apparently Christian Egg and Rizbach is not one of them, though. Let's, uh... Yeah. We appreciate their efforts, to be honest with you. I want to see more in the second half. That's what I want to see. But Egg and Rizmark, I wonder if we bring him off for Noah Nurmi. Nurmi doesn't necessarily like to be a stopper, but still, he is, of course, the expensive player we bought last season for $1.3 million and then loaned him out to uh, Salzburg 08 and had him play the entire season in the Premiership. So he is at least more experienced. <laughs> okay, um, let's go into the second half. Let's get creative. Come on, Lilstrom. We can do this. Seven shots, five on target. Let's go positive again. Let's just, just push it forward a little bit. Uh oh. Wonder if we should in fact go cautious then. Rishani with a free kick. Saved by McDermott. Corner. Cleared. Sidibe on the ball now. But we don't get to see what happens. It's sixty two minutes. Odd three, Lilstrom two. Show some passion, Lilstrom. Come on. Arga is just 75 minutes. Who have I got on I can bring on for Arga? Brendan. Well, Brendan don't want to be in a advanced forward, but he is all we have. So we will confirm our third substitution. And we're going to say demand more. Throw in for Odd. Nygaard, Hoff. Oh my goodness, look at that. They just passed it around us. It's now odd four, Lilstrom two. And I can't fault that goal. It was a beautiful, beautiful, well-taken goal. Ball from Hoff. Terzik. Finds Nygaard. And Delavaris made a lovely little run. And it's four two. I'm going to go back to the pressing. We've got not a lot to lose at the moment. And tell ourselves to push forward. It's over. Odd four, Lilstrom two. That's our first defeat, and I don't know how many games. A lot of games. Yeah, this Philip Muller, he, he was good. He did well for him. Let's 
yeah, what can you say? We weren't great. He says we should appreciate their efforts, to be honest. I'm not happy. Morale's taking a dive as well. I think this calls for a team meeting just to try and push things up. But yeah, I'm a bit disappointed to lose 4-2 to Ard, especially as we beat them in the cup last season. But our poor form continues. Nurmi didn't have a great game. Sinian's game, oh dear, it just bottom fell out of that, didn't it? As did it as it did for most of our defence, really. They all kind of went down a bit. Tudor didn't do too badly, I suppose, but... Easy and Krogstad could rely on them, and obviously Sol Bakken did well, but Oscar Aga. Oh, mate, why haven't you scored any goals yet this season? You don't even look like you want to score goals. That's all I'll say. Okay, he's come back for a quick review. We are now lying in 12th after that loss. Um, it's only three games in. It's too early to be worried, but I, I look at where we are in the league and go, hmm, maybe I should be looking for another job. Fran Tudor has made it onto the assists list with two. But, uh, yeah, that's not great. That's not really where we want to be. We've only managed two points out of three games. We've got to improve. Next up, of course, is Strom God set. Um, where are they in the league? Whoops. Let's have a look. Only a couple of spots before above us. They've managed to lose two. They've, they have won one, though, so they haven't drawn any yet. But uh, they lost to Frederikstad and Ran Ranheim. So... Hopefully we can maybe pull off a win against them. That would be nice. They did uh, beat Hargison, who, of course, in fourth, who haven't actually done bad at all. So, But Odd, who just beat us, are top. They've won all three of their games. They beat Frederikstrad, Ranheim, and us now, and they've got a goal difference of plus five, which isn't bad. But, yeah, we have definitely, definitely, definitely got to improve if we're going to get anywhere. So, Anyway, if you enjoyed that, oh, I should also say, where we're coming back, it's... We'll be back in April. I haven't decided for which game yet. I do wonder if we're going to leave it till the start game, to be honest with you. Um, don't know who we've got in Norgish Mestreskopper, but I don't think I need to come back for that realistically. Um, not at this point. It'd be an easy win, I guess, but uh, um, I'm going to bring you a league game, I think. Probably the start game, I think, will be the best choice. Um, we don't know yet who are favourites, but interestingly enough, Strom God set... We're the favourites. Sarps, Borgo 8. Doesn't say yet, so... At least we're favourites against Strom Godset, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, Odd dominated us and are currently top of the league, so... Maybe they are the team to watch this season. Anyway, if you enjoyed that, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more Football Manager videos. And I'll see you in the next episode.